In our unit on policing gears, let's look a little bit closer about how gears work. Look at these two gears. What do you notice? Do you notice that both gears are the same size? Or that both of the gears are spinning at the same speed? Each of these gears have eight gear teeth, and gear A is spinning clockwise, and gear B is spinning counterclockwise. Because both of these gears are the same size with the same number of teeth, they will spin in the same, at the same speed. But gear A, spinning clockwise, will turn gear B clockwise. Two gears that are working together will spin in opposite directions. In this example, we have four gears. The blue gear has eight teeth and is spinning clockwise. This causes the pink gear, which is the same size, to spin counterclockwise. Both the pink and the blue gear are the same size, so they're going the same speed. It takes them the same amount of time to make one rotation. However, attached to these two larger gears are two smaller gears. The smaller gears have less teeth. Each of the smaller gears have four teeth. They are spinning at a much faster rate. For every single rotation of the large gear with eight teeth, the smaller gear with four teeth will make two rotations. So notice which direction each of these gears are spinning and why these gears might be turning in different directions. What do you see is the relationship between the number of gear teeth and the rotational speed? Take a minute to pause the video and answer these questions. Thank you for coming back. Looking at the gears in the different sizes is called gear ratios. Being able to have gears of different sizes Now let's look at the gears on a bicycle. In this example, both gears are the same size. Now a bicycle has two pieces, two sets of gears. One is the drive gear, and this is where your pedals are. On your wheel, there's the follow gear. This is driven by a chain that connect both sets of gears. When your chain is on gears that are the same size, and your drive gear and your follow gear are the same size, you have no mechanical advantage. The tire will spin as fast as you were able to pedal. The advantage, however, with gears is that using gears of different sizes will either increase your speed or increase your force. You will notice when you see these gears spinning that they're spinning at the same speed. Now all of these gears are attached to the same axle, so your chain will determine which gears are driving and which gears are following. When you are pedaling your bike on a straight road, you are not in any need of more power or more speed, so you don't require any mechanical advantage. You can't go any faster than your legs are able to pedal, and you don't require any more power to increase your power or force that you're able to move your bike with more force or more effort.
Now in this example, there may be a time where you do want to increase the speed of your bike without increasing the amount of force that you need to pedal. When you use a larger drive gear and a smaller follow gear, you are increasing your speed. You will need to work a little bit harder to spin your drive gear one full rotation, but the rotation of your drive gear is equal to two rotations of your follow gear. This means that you will travel two times faster than your legs are pedaling. When you want to increase your speed, you should adjust the gears on your bike so that your drive gear is larger than your follow gear. However, sometimes on your bicycle you might encounter a hill. In this case, what you need is not more speed, but what you need is more power. Adjusting the gears on your bike will allow you to move up that hill without requiring you to use quite so much power and energy from your leg muscles to do so. You can use your bike to increase your power by simply changing gears. When your drive gear is smaller than your follow gear, you can increase the force or power to your back wheel. You will need to spin your drive gear faster and make multiple rotations, but this will be easier. As a result, your follow gear will spin slower, but you will have more power. This is great for when you're going up a big hill, because you need more power with less effort.